Hey, what's up everyone? My name is John and welcome to my sailboat refit channel. All right, so today's the day. I'm finally gonna get some paint rolled on to the boat. Um, I've got all my paint here. I've got it um, sanded and ready to paint. But uh, one thing that I like about today is that it's raining. So to me, painting in the rain or just after rain is probably the best time. The, uh, the air is soft and um, calm. There's not a lot of wind. All the bugs are gone and all the dust in the air is cleared out. So um, that's just one of the things that I like about it. And you can see how rainy and um, actually feels pretty nice out here. In the last few videos, I've uh, put some uh, high build primer on here and I've sanded it all down and now I'm ready to start painting. So first thing I'm gonna do is start wiping this down with um, some mineral spirits and get this really clean and all the dust off of it. There's still a little dust. I've already washed it, but um, I'm gonna go over it with some mineral spirits. Now I'll wipe it down with a tack rag now I'll start mixing the paint and get this rolled on. You can see right here, there's some places that I've sanded through the primer. And uh, the reason for that is this transom is kind of wavy when they made it in the factory. So I sanded this with a long sanding block and it's straight now, but uh, had I not had this primer on here, then you would still be able to see uh, the waviness after I painted it. The proper way to do this is to get some thickened epoxy or some fairing compound actually and just to float this entire area or the whole boat for that matter and then sand it with a long sanding block. That way the, you would see uh, the fairing compound in the low spots and you would see the uh, gel coat or primer or whatever below that in the high spots which would give you a really flat surface. But here, I've got really thick high build primer on here, which uh, acts just like a fairing compound. Um, on the sides of the boat, I didn't really sand through. There are a few little spots that I sanded through the primer, but mostly it's just really uh, covered well and ready for primer, or ready for paint. All right, so I've got some uh, mineral spirits here. I got my gloves on. I've got two rags, or actually paper towels. And so I'm gonna put mineral spirits on one and I'll use the other one to dry with. So you basically just go over it, wipe it in the same direction then dry it, wipe it, dry it, wipe it, dry it, and just go over the whole boat like this, maybe twice, until you're comfortable getting every bit of it wiped down. You probably will use multiple paper towels or rags I don't like using rags because they leave a lot more lint on it. So I will go over it with a tack cloth in a minute. So now I've got the boat all uh, cleaned off with mineral spirits and now I'm going to start wiping it down with a tack rag. Okay, so uh, like I said, I've got it all cleaned off with mineral spirits and this is my tack rag or tack cloth. I'm just going to take this, just a real sticky kind of... Uh, material so if there's any debris or dust particles that's been missed this will uh, kind of get any of that off of there so uh, just kind of go over it just like I did with the with the mineral spirits so if you don't have to dry it it's uh, it's kind of a wet feeling but it it's just uh, just kind of a tacky uh, it's a little oily feeling, but it's, it's dry, but it is sticky. Just going over it 
uh, remembering where I stopped it. Just want to make sure there's no dust particles or um, just anything that could, could be on here. And you can uh, fold it around to different, different sides as you go. All right, so uh, I've got the uh, Alexil premium top coat. This is stark white. And then I've got the uh, Alexil uh, yacht converter. Uh, this is for brush, C5012, and then I have the uh, Alex Seal Top Coat uh, Roll Additive, and this really makes a difference if you're going to roll. And then uh, also, I'll mix it with the uh, thinner. This is a uh, reducer, 5015 or 5015. So uh, anyway, and I'm going to use a, a mohair roller um, it's kind of a ultra fine roller that I've got at Sherwin Williams and um, it's for uh, oil paints so it won't come apart and uh, just a little roller got my rolling pan and a little mixing cup so uh, let's mix this up and um, get busy So I mix it two to one, two parts, one part, and then a half part. Or and sometimes I'll put another. I'll mix it um, two one one because this will evaporate. You've got to you got to keep the paint thin, and then just a few drops of the additive in this little cup. And I like to mix it small batches because this does evaporate really fast and. This, these two combined is what allows it to flow out when you're rolling it. And uh, so it's really important to keep, keep the paint uh, thin and have enough of this in there because it will evaporate. So I'm going to put, this one has uh, three marks. So I'm going to go to number three. So I've got the mark up to number three and I'll pour this in to the other number three which will be the two one ratio. I'm going to stir this and uh, let it sit for a little bit. The correct way to do it is to mix, to mix this and the converter together, stir that and let it sit for 20 minutes to activate. And then you put in the thinner and the reduce or the uh, converter or additive. Okay, so when I start rolling it on, I don't want to start at the edge. I'll start away from it a little bit and ro start rolling it. I put it on and then I'll, there'll be some bubbles in it. So I'll back row the, the bubbles just a little bit, real lightly. And that will uh, help pop the bubbles. But it's the additive that it causes this to flow out. It, it rolls on really rough, but then it just lays right out over time. You don't want to roll it over it back and forth multiple times, but the first application really doesn't, our first coat doesn't, doesn't lay that well. 
it will it will flow out. It just doesn't it doesn't always look that great. All right, it's been a few hours and uh, fixing to see if it's ready for the second coat. Yeah, I think that's perfect. You see no paint come off on my finger. I'm just touching the tape here. I think it's ready for the second coat. All right, so I've got three coats on here. I went ahead and put another coat on it. I was only gonna put two, but uh, since the wind picked up, I really wanted to get a, a little bit thicker layer on here, so I put an extra coat on. And um, it's really flowing out nice, but like I said, the wind picked up, and I've had to shut the other door to prevent the wind, and it started getting really hot out here. So those two things cause it to flash off a little quicker than I want. So it's the next day and uh, it didn't flow out as well as I thought. I could have mixed it a little bit better. I didn't thin it as, not, as much as I should have, and I could have really gotten this to flow out and level out much better, but it doesn't really matter to me because I'm gonna sand this first uh, two coats or three coats anyway. Anyway, you can see here, see if you can see that some of the uh, so if you can see the uh, orange peel spent a lot of time and so in order to uh, all that time to pay off I really want to get it uh, just like a piece of glass just very very smooth now I'm going to start the sanding process and I'll use I'll use this 320 grit sandpaper uh, hook and loop and I'll really go over this and get it just as flat and smooth as possible and um, that'll get rid of any of the uh, the orange peel whatsoever and then continue on All right, so I've spent the last few days sanding this with 320 grit and really got a nice smooth surface. So I'm gonna start putting the final layer of um, our final coat of um, the Alex Hill stark white paint. And um, I'm not sure if I'll put one or two. I'll just uh, see how the first one flows out. I may put another one on. But either way, um, after that dries, I will wet sand and buff that. I've already got it uh, wiped down with uh, mineral spirits and I've already gone over it with a tack rag. So it's ready to mix some paint and start uh, spreading it on.
Okay, I just want to give you a look at the first coat. Uh, it's been three hours since I put it on. And I think I'm going to go over it one more time, but man, it really is just glass smooth. I don't know if you can see that. There are a few uh, little tiny spots, but uh, that's really shiny, really smooth. And I've got to still wet sand and buff this. So, um, really looks nice but i'm going to go ahead and put one more coat only so that i can have a better coverage there's a few spots that are that i had sanded through the primer that i want to get a little bit better coverage on because when i wet sand it it will uh, take a little bit of the of the surface away and i want to make sure i have plenty of of paint on there and good coverage but wow, just really looks good. Okay, so it's been a few hours since I put on the last uh, final coat. I, uh, so I laid three coats. I sanded that with 320 and a palm sander. Then I came this morning and put the uh, first final coat over the, the three coats that I sanded. And then I um, came just a few hours ago and laid the final coat. So I put two coats over the sanded, the total of five coats. And um, the first coat, it, flew out, it flowed out very nice. I mean, it looked great. And the second coat, I'm looking at it now, and it's only been a few hours, but it, it doesn't appear, it's kind of rough. So doesn't matter to me because I'm going to wet sand it and buff it. But if I wanted to just end with the final coat, I think ultimately I would uh, put three coats on, wet sand, or put three coats on, sand that with 320, and then put the final coat on to, um, and just leave that unless I was going to in my case wet sand and buff it so i put the extra final coat on so i'd have a little more thickness to wet sand but you can see it still looks nice and like i said most people would probably be very satisfied with just this um i don't know if you can see the glare here we'll take the light away you can see how smooth it is but like it's still a little rougher than I want so I'm gonna wet sand and buff it but ultimately looks nice all right it's the next day and I came back to take a look let's see what we got here looks like uh, it flowed out pretty good. There's still a little bit, a little bit of orange peel, but um, it looks really nice. I don't know if you can see the orange peel, uh, but there is some in here. Um, the first coat I put on after I sanded with 360 grit was super flat. It was very glass smooth I, I would not have had to do much but i put a second coat over that and that's alex still recommends you sand after every coat and it does go on really smooth if you do that but i wanted to go ahead and put another coat to uh to thicken it up so that um when i wet sand i'll have you know a little more a little thickness there the um it still looks really nice the uh the paint would i mean it would be satisfactory for for me even on a normal circumstance but i want to go ahead and uh wet sand this and get it as uh, glass smooth as possible and then uh, you know uh, i'll move the boat over i've got to move it over so that i can get to the other side you can see it's a little too close over there so i'm gonna have to scoot the boat over to this wall so that i can uh, get in to do the other side 
that's all the time I have for this video. And uh, next week, I'll start uh, wet sanding this. I'll start with 600 grit, 1,000 grit, 1,500, all the way up to 2,000, or uh, yeah, probably about 2,000 as high as I go. And then I'll get the uh, buffer out and uh, buff all this. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.